You know what an honor it is to be at the Norman Rockwell Museum? This is a very major piece of business. The Norman Rockwell Museum is a, a nationally known institution and it specializes, and very few places do, in the art of American illustration. It's a really big deal to show here. Uh, your work was uh, chosen from a lot of pieces, folks. And this, for you parents, if the artists in this room have not had it before, this should be validation for what these guys do. I like seeing all of the high schoolers that have this ability and their creative ability getting to the piece. I love looking at their stuff and seeing almost what their process could have been to get there. And for my piece, I, my mom always has a bunch of like old stuff, like childhood memories. So these were actually my brother and I. We had the we had these all scattered around the house. So I took a couple of them, mounted them, and took a picture and work from it. So you work from a photograph? Yeah, I take all my own photographs and work from those. You know, Norman Rockwell had a similar process. He did work from photographs and collaging them together mm -hmm. to create the right composition. Nice. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, so is this your first time in the high school art show? This is yeah, okay. as a junior. Okay, and what is it like for you being in the show? Um, it's amazing. It's actually, starting last year, I've started to get in like restaurants, putting my work in, in the county, showing it off, seeing who would be interested, commissionings, all that. So this is another amazing opportunity to spread my work around. So it sounds like you're very interested in continuing to be an artist. Yeah, it's you're definitely... You're taking some real steps. It's definitely one of my interests. I've been doing job shadows to try and figure out how, how I want to relate this to um, an actual job I can pursue. Yeah. I want to talk a little bit about just the thought of approaching art as a career. It's scary for you guys because you don't know what's going to happen and it's even scarier for your folks because they think you're going to live at home for the next 40 years. <laughs> so I'm here to tell you it can work. Uh, you have to be good, you have to ha be tenacious about it, and you also have to be lucky. That's the hat trick, okay? You need all those things. You will find that the more you work at it, the luckier you get. Funny how that shakes out sometimes. Nobody's going to come and wake you up and say, we'd like to give you an illustration job. Can you please get out of bed? No, yeah, you kind of have to hustle about it. But this is all possible. Are there guarantees? Nope, not a one. Um, if you want a guarantee, go into actuarial science. <laughs> About five of you know what that is. Okay, you need two things. You need to be um, mildly gifted with theoretical math, and you have to have a very high threshold for boredom. Okay, so if you have those two things, actuarial science will make you a vice president in like 20 minutes. Other than that, the rest of us are just rolling the dice. Uh, my name is Lauren Combs, and I'm from Wakona Regional High School. Great. And can you tell us a little bit about the work that's in the art show, your work? Well, I got this idea of drawing a turtle, and I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do with it. And then I was like, paint isn't my best medium. So then I decided I was going to do a painting, and I decided, hey, why not make it a turtle? Because one of my teachers is obsessed with turtles. Oh. Okay, that's convenient. Wow. Um, and is this your first time in the art show? Um, in the Norman Art the Norman Show, Art yes. Oh, it is. Okay. It has been, let's see, I had a piece last year in, it was like this art show and the winner got to go for a year to the White House. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, so you've been in art shows before, mm -hmm. but this is your first time in the Norman Rockwell yeah. Museum art show. Excellent. And what is your experience of having your work here uh, amongst other work? Um, I'm super excited. I got to see a lot of stuff that I would love to try and do something in the style of some of these art artists. And I think I've gotten a lot more ideas for many 
more art projects. Oh wow, so you found it inspiring yeah. to see other, mm -hmm. like your peers work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wow. And what was the, like you said that you're not much of a painter, but it really seems to me that you've got quite a level of I get really here. bored with things that don't have a lot of detail. Mm -hmm. So as soon as I found something that had so much detail in it, I was just like, okay, I can do this. So you felt you could focus in yeah. with the AI. We've really got the technique. It's very beautiful. The, the great thing that can happen with this, if, uh, if you do take the chance and you do get it to work, first, if you don't try this, it will haunt you. Those of you that are driven to do it, if you don't do this, you're going to have that, you think you've got a voice in your head now that says you can't do this? Eh, I know you have, because um, <clears throat> I have. I just ignore it. The other voice that you get is, you should have. You should have tried this, and he's even louder. You don't want to get to that point where you have those kind of regrets. Might work, might not. Roll the dice. Take a run at it. You might find that uh, some things happen that really surprise you in a good way. One of the, things, one of the great things, Stephanie mentioned some of the things that, uh, that we get involved in. And it's just sometimes it's this, your life becomes this rich grab bag. Your career takes you into other things. I became a member of the Society of Illustrators, and I met a bunch of great like-minded people. Uh, I got connected to the Rockwell Museum. Well, that should be enough for about anybody. Okay, so that's the end of the sermon. And I'm going to leave you, uh, a lot of you guys are thinking, do I pursue an art career? Do I try art school? Do I take a run in this? I'm going to leave you with the words of the late Dr. Thompson, who said, in a very different context, buy the ticket, take the ride. That's all I got, folks. Good night. <laughs>